Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Plan. Today we'll have a look at a very interesting paper which was recently released in BioArchive. This is exciting because the study shows safe rejuvenation in multiple tissues in vivo using the Yamanaka factors. First a disclaimer, that in this video we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Before we go into the paper, a little background on the Yamanaka factors. These are four proteins, OX34, SOX2, KLF4, and CMYK, which when expressed in a cell, have the ability to take it from a differentiated somatic cell all the way back to being a pluripotent stem cell, the kind of cell that is abundant in the embryo. In this case, the cells are called induced pluripotent stem cells, or IPCS. At this point, the cells have lost their identity as a specific type of cell, and then they can go on to differentiate into any type of cell. However, if we want to rejuvenate a tissue or an organism, we don't want full reprogramming back to stem cells, which would cause cancer in an animal. We would want the cell to get younger, but not go all the way back to being a stem cell. So this study was to see if this could be achieved in vivo by expressing the factors for a short time. Here is the paper, Multiomic Rejuvenation of Naturally Aged Tissue by a Single Cycle of Transient Reprogramming. Note, it is in BioArchive, so this means that it has not been peer-reviewed at this point. Three. First, a quick overview of the paper. As we discussed, the expression of Yamanaka factors, OCT4, SOX2, KLF4, and MYC, otherwise known as OSKM, can convert normal cells into pluripotent stem cells in a process known as reprogramming. If the OSKM factors are expressed for only a short time, rather than taking the cell back to being a pluripotent stem cell, they will reverse the markers of aging on the cell, but it will retain its identity as whatever type of cell it is. In this study, they looked at the effects on the DNA methylome, transcriptome, and metabolome in naturally aged mice of a single transient OSKM expression. They found that this did reverse the DNA methylation changes that occur in the pancreas, liver, spleen, and blood. Transcriptional changes, especially those related to aging, also were reversed. And some blood metabolites, which alter with age, were recovered showing that a single period of expression can drive tissues towards a younger profile. To test the transient expression of the factors in vivo, they used genetically altered mice, which would express the factors when fed a low dose of doxycycline. So doxycycline in the diet would turn on the genes to express the Yamanaka factors, and when the doxycycline was removed, the genes would again be turned off. They treated 55-week-old mice with a low dose of doxycycline for one week. For reference, a 55-week-old mouse is about 60 years old, for you're a human. As mentioned, one of the concerns is that the cells do not become pluripotent. So they checked for the expression of messenger RNA related to pluripotency, particularly NANOG. Initially, after one week, there was no noticeable expression. But after two weeks of continued expression of the Amanaka factors, we can see that nano jumped up. The pancreas was the organ most impacted, and we can see the changes in the tissue from before, after one week, then after two. Initially, there was a change in the structure of the tissue, but this was reversed two weeks after the treatment. They identified specific promoter and enhancer sites, which were differently methylated depending on age. When looking at the methylation of these sites after the treatment, they saw that it was between that of the old and the young mice, showing a partial rejuvenation. A promoter is a region which initiates a transcription and an enhancer increases its action. They looked at the transcription activity in the pancreas as well. So this is the actual proteins being expressed. In the metabolism, DNA repair and proteasome where the expression moved closer to that of a young animal than the old. Note that this was after two weeks of recovery, showing a long-term change. Other organs did not see such a big impact, but did see some rejuvenation. For example, in the liver, we see similar changes. And finally, they look for systemic changes in the blood. 
For this, they used 100 week old mice, which is somewhat over 70 years for a human. They found 23 metabolites which change with age, of which these four were reversed by the treatment. A note that they made was that the gain of methylation seemed to happen while the factors were being expressed, while the loss of methylation happened during the recovery period. This is a very early trial, and the genetic changes that they used in mice would not be applicable to humans. But I think the safe use of Yamanaka factors to cause partial rejuvenation in multiple tissues in vivo is very exciting. And I look forward to seeing more studies in this area.